Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing a quick video on some messages that I have been channeling. When I say quick, I mean super quick because my camera is on 19% and I'm getting ready for bed. So the messages that I have been channeling are about parasitic relationships. And if you don't know what channel messages are, it's basically like I just receive certain knowledge or information from source because I am claircognizant. Um, I did mention that in one of my other videos. But I just kind of receive knowledge and information from source and then I get kind of led to different signs or like videos, websites in order to kind of confirm or like piece together the, me the messages that I channel. So this one is one that, um, like I said, I channeled recently and it really stuck out to me and I felt like I definitely needed to share it. So parasitic relationships. When we're born, it's like our parents are our first introduction to God, to Source. And as you all know, God and Source is the definition of love. That's why they say, like, if you don't know God, you don't know love. And regardless of your religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs, um, if you don't believe in God, you can believe in just the universe, I guess. Anything that you believe in, if you believe there's a higher power, you know that that higher power is associated with the vibrational frequency of love. So our parents are our first introduction to that higher power. And when our parents have never experienced love from God, that divine love, that unconditional love, they cannot give it to us and therefore we're kind of disconnected from God right from birth. We're disconnected from the vibrational frequency of love right from the start when we have parents who can't give it to us. So a lot of us will grow up and because we are disconnected from God, from source energy, we will look for that source energy from other people. So we will get into codependent relationships, we will get into narcissistic relationships where we will be looking for that love, that energy. And when that person does not give it to us, that's why the feeling is so crippling and devastating because it literally is the feeling of being disconnected from God. I'm going to try to find a picture of like the vibrational frequency scale. So you can see at the top, it is love and enlightenment, and at the bottom, it is shame. So when you are experiencing like rejection from a lover, and you are codependently attached to them, or it's a dysfunctional relationship, you are immediately sinking down into the feeling of shame, because that's the lowest vibration you can go away from the feeling of love in God. And when we feel like, like I said, we can't get that love filled up from God, it's almost impossible to get it filled up from another person, especially if that person is not getting that fill from God either. So what will happen is we will enter into a parasitic relationship where you'll either be giving too much energy and you'll be drained, or that person will be giving too much and they'll be drained. But either way, someone is giving too much and someone is taking too much. And the reason that this is taking place is because each person is so disconnected from God and disconnected from love that they have no choice but to pull energy back and forth from each other. So for example, I use the example with me and my ex because this example just like stood out so crazy in my mind um okay i'm on 15 percent. we're good we're good um this example stood out so crazy for me in my mind because i remember there was a point in time where me and my ex would argue and every time we would argue and we would break up i noticed that his energy was really high and mine was really low like i couldn't function and then we would get back together and then we would do this weird like push and pull thing and there was one point in time where we broke up and i felt completely fine for the first time this happened i was like oh i feel good i feel fine and i was happy about it because i thought okay now i can move on and now he can move on because i assumed that you know every time we break up he was fine so i assumed that this time we broke up and that he was fine and i was fine but when i contacted him or Actually, I went on his Twitter and he was tweeting like really depressing stuff like how he feels dead on the inside and things like that, which was very unusual because every time we would break up, I felt like I would be the one that kind of felt dead on the inside and it seemed like he still had a bunch of energy. So pretty much I called him and I was just like, what's wrong with you? Like what's going on? And he was just like, I just feel so dead on the inside. I just feel so drained. I just feel so empty. Like I just feel really terrible about like what we went through like what we're going through and i was like to him you know i was just giving him like words of love positive affirmations like no like pick yourself up you can get through this come on you can do it and eventually by the end of the conversation he felt much better and he could go about his day normally but surprise surprise i noticed that once he was feeling better i was drained and that's when i kind of realized that we are in a parasitic relationship and we are feeding off of each other's energy because there's no way that i should be able to speak words of life into you and then that drains me you see what i'm saying so that's when i kind of first started channeling this message that's when i first kind of like came to this conclusion so how do we combat this how do we combat being in these parasitic relationships where we are feeding off of each other's energy basically what you have to do is you have to connect to source energy you have to connect connect to god you have to make it so that god is able to fill you up fill your heart space up with love to the point where you feel that divine love in you so that you don't need another person to give it to you and it's like 
because when I first was channeling this I was just like okay this is odd does that mean that once I connect to source that I'm not gonna want a relationship or that I'm not gonna need people around me but that's not true it'll actually make your relationship stronger because you are able to get that love and that energy filled up within you and you're able to give it to your partner without draining yourself you see what I'm saying so like for example if I was able to connect to source energy back then I could have had God fill me up and I could have spoke life into my partner and lifted him back up without me feeling drained afterwards you see so it just makes your relationship your relationships even more fulfilling when you're able to connect to source energy now the question is how do you connect to source energy and I was really confused about this I was really asking God this because I was channeling these messages and I was just like okay but what's the solution like I don't understand I understand the concept but what's the solution and I was guided to this woman named Amanda Flaker and I'll leave her um, videos down below I'll leave her channel down below she's amazing especially for people who um, are empaths she does like basically her whole channel is dedicated to like helping empaths like ascend and she's just amazing so I was guided to one of her videos where she talked about um, she shared a very personal story about how her mother died from cancer and later on in life like I think her mother died when she was around like 12 years old and, and she never got a chance to grieve properly and later on in life she kind of just all the energy just kind of hit her and she was grieving her mother and she was telling god like i need my mom like i need my mother i need my mom and then she said that god guided her to a bible verse and oh, i really don't remember what the bible verse is i'll try to find it and insert it but it was a bible verse and it was pertaining to the fact that what was the verse? Oh my goodness, I should have looked this up before I started this video. It was something along the lines of like, as a mother nurtures a child, I will nurture you. I think it was something along those lines. And basically what she got from it was that God is able to nurture you the way that a mother nurtures you. And everything just kind of clicked in my head because I was thinking like, okay, I've been channeling these messages about the fact that when your mother does not give you that love from the beginning of your life, that's when you're cut off from God or you feel like you're cut off from God energy or source. So... It stands to reason that if there's this this Bible verse saying that God can, you know, comfort you the way a mother can, that means that you still have the ability to kind of bypass your mother and get that energy directly from God, directly from source. You just have to see God as a maternal energy and as your mother and then open up your heart to God and allow God to fill you up. And, you know, Wayne Dyer, it's this one quote by Wayne Dyer that he always would say he would always say that like when you are having a hard time connecting to God or you're having a hard time with forgiveness or you're just cut off from the energy of love it's important to just open up your heart and say Holy Spirit guide me now and you're kind of just being taken by the love of God like God is just using your body and like filling you up and leading you in the right direction I hope that this is making sense I feel like I'm talking so fast <laughs> because I'm trying to remember everything but my channel messages they race through my mind like this this is how an Aquarius's mind is people um <laughs> so it like I said I'm talking really fast because the messages are racing through my mind so um I'm on nine percent okay we're good we're good so Holy Spirit guide me now. That's what I would say whenever I feel like I'm just lost and like I feel like I don't have that love energy and I feel like I want to hit up, you know, one of my exes because I feel like I'm disconnected from source and I need that energy from them. I need that like love from them. I'm just like you don't need it from them. Connect to source and then I'll just kind of like sit down and pray and just say Holy Spirit guide me now. And when I came across Amanda Flaker's video about how God can act as a maternal energy, um, I literally was in the midst of a crisis <laughs> because I was thinking about my ex and I was missing my ex and I was thinking about you know the beginning of our relationship and how much love he filled me up with um and when you have that it's easy to want to go back to them because they filled you up with this love that you're supposed to be getting from God like this divine love and you kind of like bypass God and go to them instead you know what I'm saying so I'm so when I came across that video I was going through a crisis because I was missing my ex really bad and I know he's like no good for me and I can't talk to him and I can't get anything from him like even if I were to get in contact with him he's so emotionally unavailable to me right now um, that he wouldn't be able to give me anything so it's kind of like going to someone when you're like starved and like wanting this energy from them that they can't give you and it's harmful to you and it's harmful to them as well because they just can't give it to you like they just can't and um so when I came across Amanda Flaker's video I remember I laid down and I was just saying to myself like 
what do I need in this moment? Like, what do I need? And I said, you know, I need a mother. I need maternal energy. Like, I need, like, my mother to just, like, rub my back and just tell me, like, I love you and everything's okay so that I won't feel the need to get it from my ex. And um, I literally just laid down and I just kind of pictured, like, a white light kind of, like, rubbing my shoulder. And I could feel the sensation. And I just kind of let the feeling, like, come over me. It just really felt like a maternal energy, like, rubbing my shoulder, like, rubbing my back, just telling me that it's okay. And I really could feel, like, the light, like really filling me up it's hard to explain how to do the process it's kind of just like literally just opening up i, I wish i could explain how i did this it's, it's literally just like laying down I just lay down i let myself cry and i just let the the light just wash over me and i just like pictured the light washing over me and i could just really feel god's presence like all over me it was the craziest feeling i don't think i've ever connected to source energy that heavily before like when i'm out in nature i connect to source energy really well that's why i tell people like go out in nature take your shoes off put your shoes into the earth because to me that is also um maternal energy like getting that energy from nature but this experience specifically when i was able to wrap my mind around the fact that god can be a feminine energy and can act as your mother like i just felt so much love wash over me and then my need to run back to my ex and try to get something from him that he can't give me just kind of just went away like it just went away and I'm just like if I can connect to this source energy all the time I'll never feel a feeling of lack I'll never feel like there's not enough love or like I have to be desperate for it or have to beg people for it because I'll feel like it's always filling me up and I'll have enough that I have enough for myself and I have enough to share with other people as well and then that makes my relationships and my friendships and any interactions I have in life it just makes it so much more fulfilling so I think that that's it I think that's all I wanted to say um I hope that you guys got something out of this video. I really do. And, um, yeah, my camera light is blinking. Okay, just in time. Okay, guys, so like I said, I hope you um, took something from this video. And thank you guys so much for all your love and support, um, for subscribing and just continuing to be on this healing journey with me. And I will see you guys in the next one.